very well so ladies and gentlemen um <clears throat> uh, a little bit of a health update feeling much better now yeah i uh, was uh, i think uh, had a high grade fever so now i feel i feel actually better so with better uh, news uh, uh, with better condition comes some really really you know arsenal games can be postponed of course the north london derby we have come to know how much games jaka will miss and if arsenal are going to be super active in the transfer market arthur deal might be off apparently uh, and also we're going to talk about bruno gimaraj if that's the case what about dusan vlahovic so we have an update about that so the first thing is that number one now we are not going to talk about arteta as uh, <clears throat> here but iliano Eleonora Trotta, she was the one who actually, uh, you know, uh, broke the news of Xhaka going to Roma. Uh, but she says that Vlahovic, they told me that an offer of 6060 million euros will arrive in the next few days from Arsenal. Fiorentina would like to sell in January. In fact, Fiorentina have already met Julian Alvarez's agent, uh, the River Plate striker. So it's pretty much clear that Arsenal are really about to bid for him. 60 million euros is the bid. And we are going to be talking more about that. But an update of from Fiorentina director Joe Barone. He says that we have already spoken about Vlahovic. Our speech is clear. He does not want to talk or negotiate. We are going to evaluate what comes to us. But at the moment, there is no offer. If Arsenal comes, we will think about it. So, yes, it looks like Arsenal will come then. There had definitely initial talks been made. That's the whole reason why Arsenal's name has been used here. He's never used a club's name before, but now for the first time he did. So, Barone, let's see. Moving on, Arteta uh, says that we had concerns already before the Liverpool match. And after we had more issues, we haven't been able to assess the squad yet because we couldn't fly last night. We just arrived to the training ground and all the boys are looking at. So, we don't know. But, here's the update from Kaya Kainak that Arsenal, Arsenal's midfielder Granit Xhaka will miss two games. Uh, because of that red card. Two games, apparently. Weird but true. But yes, two games are uh, is off. So, make of that what you will. Also, Nick Ames says, Arsenal are in talks with the Premier League regarding the status of the North London derby. And it might get postponed. Why? Because uh, I think Arsenal have, what, only 12 senior players left in uh, the squad who are fit and you need 13 to you know being qualified for for actually uh, being a part of the game so yes that is the case we're also going to talk about um, uh, <clears throat> um, I think Arthur in detail so <clears throat> it looks like Allegri comes out and says that uh, uh, no players are going out he says that I've already said this is the Juventus squad and with these people we must reach the end of the season in the best possible way. So this clarifies a lot of things. The one that uh, uh, I think he's going to leave. Uh, he's not going to leave Juventus, I'm sorry. He's not going to leave Juventus. That's that's number one thing that actually comes out. We also came to know that according to GE Globo, Arthur is close to completing his loan move to... Arthur is close to moving to Arsenal. Uh, talks between Arsenal and Juventus advanced yesterday and Gunners with an option to buy at the end of the season. Same thing was said about Charles Watts. But here's the bigger question. Uh, <clears throat> Robin, Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Chelsea refused to loan Ruben Loftus-Cheek to Juventus. Um, and that's the big reason why things not working at all. Yes, according to uh, Daniel Longo, Chelsea have refused to allow Ruben Loftus cheek to join Juventus on loan. Arsenal and Arthur wait longer. So that is the bigger problem. That's the bigger problem that lies out here. We're going to talk about that. But first, let's talk about <clears throat> what happens if there's no Arthur. So, yes, we already mentioned it. Other clubs also showed interest in a possible loan for Arthur such as Sevilla, PSG and even his former team Barcelona at Javi's request but the talks did not progress. So it looks like we might look at Arthur not coming to Arsenal. And Fabrizio Romano said negotiations between Arsenal and Juventus for Arthur Melo will continue to the uh, in the coming hours. Arsenal offering loan deal plus full salary covered until June, no obligation to buy clause included. As of now, Juventus are not accepting until they find a replacement. And it looks like either they get a replacement or 
we don't have Arthur for I don't, I don't, for, for now even the North London Derby is in question so Alex Lacazette's finish at the end of a flowing team move against Southampton has been named as the Premier League goal of the month for December congratulations to Alex Lacazette but Martin Keown on Xhaka's red card says that uh, we need an explanation from the player it's the second red card of the season I don't know what was going through his mind it was a definite red card. It was a stupid thing to do. He didn't need to make that challenge. He needs to clean up his act. He's costing us. He must be on his last chance saloon. I, I don't get it. Like, you're, you're telling me that he did not make, me, uh, need to make that challenge. It was pretty much clear Jota would have really, you know, brought the ball down and it would have been a goal for sure. It, would, it was a clear goal. So for him to not react would have not made a sense. But that reaction was weird. That reaction was not needed as of now. So that is that, ladies and gentlemen. So on Conte's Zoom, he says that Eric Dyer is ruled out of the North London derby against Arsenal with a muscular problem. Club are also checking one new case. Uh, a player was not named. So that was also the problem for uh, Antonio Conte. So... Another problem that needs to be solved. So, if Arthur is not here, why don't Arsenal go for Bruno Guimaraes? Like, see, Juventus don't want to sell off right away, but they would want to get a replacement, which they're not getting the, the kind of quality that they want. They're not getting it. Fine. Cool. You're not getting it. Cool. If Arsenal can look somewhere else, I think, of course, the two places that they can look is Bruno Guimaraes and Renato Sanchez. If, if, if there's a question between the Portuguese and the Brazilian, who would you take? Bruno Guimaraes, Renato Sanchez. Who would be your pick for Arsenal's midfield? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, cheers.